Good morning. Good morning, Mrs. Bills. How you doing? Let me see your teeth. Yep, they look good. Alright, let's go potty. Come on. Let's go potty. Go potty. Well, I guess you're not going to go potty. You're just going to sunbathe. What's going on, everybody? I am the Popcorn Man 5000, and today we are in the new apartment. It's been a few days since I moved in, and it's just been great. It's so much nicer, so much bigger. And Bales has this little wood chip area that she can hang out at outside. The old apartment, it would get so hot on my deck because it didn't have like a roof on it like this one does. And so it was just miserable being out there. Like Bales, she'd walk outside and she'd start like dancing around because her paws would get too hot. But yeah, I've been here for a few days and I'm still moving in, so it's still a big old mess. But that's what I ended up going with for the living room setup, mainly because I like to sit in that chair. Before I had the couch that way, and there was nowhere for me to put the chair. So the chair was like over there, but I want to sit in the chair, and I want to watch the TV in the chair, so that's what I ended up going with. So I don't know how I feel. I don't really like this couch facing the wall like that, but I don't know. That's what I'm going with. And we have this nice big area here. This is where Bales always hangs out. And she didn't have an area like this in the last house, so this is exciting. And I don't know. I think she likes it. I think she likes it here. I think she's very happy about it, right? Do you want a treat? Come here. <gasps> does she want one of these? Oh, yes, she does. She's a smiling Bales now. The Bales is excited. All right, come here. All right, now sit. Stay. Okay, come here. Now sit. Now go down. Now stay. Good Oh, that's a good girl. Yes, that's a well-trained bell. Also, don't look in here. It's a big old mess. I got to organize all that stuff. And I got all these watches that I took a thumbnail with because I had to re-upload a video because it got demonetized and I was pissed about it. So I had to change the title to have nothing to do with fireworks. It's ridiculous how you have to do it. And I changed the title. It's the exact same video and yet it's green. So yeah, that's the stupid crap I'm dealing with. Sorry for spamming your subscriptions. Anyways, today I am going to go riding with... What helmet should I use? Dirt bike? We're going to go riding with the Linky. Anyways, yeah. So we're going to leave the Bales. We just walked her and she just got to go lay out there. But I can't leave her out there because it's so hot. So this video is sponsored. Sponsored by Voss Helmets, VossHelmetsUSA.com slash the club. If you do want a helmet, if you're interested, I suggest you go and check it out. These helmets, they're very inexpensive and they're very protective and great. I actually crashed in one on a dirt bike if you didn't see that video, which I know you all did. If you didn't, you better go watch it because that was a pretty crazy crash. Smashed my head in the ground and my head was fine. Literally smashed it into like a bunch of sharp pointy rocks and nothing happened so we were all good right it did its job so if you're worried about something you ain't got nothing to worry about now it was proven crash tested by jaboy papa clebby poop come say bye oh the bears is not happy come here you gotta say goodbye i know you know you're like you're leaving me i'm not even gonna say bye to you you have to though you have to say goodbye right give him a kiss and tell him we'll see him in a couple hours okay Mwah! For some reason my garage, like it's not opening, but the motor turns on. Well, okay then. What? So this wasn't locked this whole time? Look how messy it is in here, by the way. It's because I just moved in, and this is like all my stuff. I'm still organizing it, but that was crazy. I thought that like maybe somebody had opened it and like stole my stuff. Honestly, I was expecting the caffeinator to not be here when the door went up because, I don't know, I figured somebody broke in and that's why it was broken. I don't even know what's going on. So, I don't know how this happened, but I guess we're good. So, Delinky said I need to get over there ASAP, like as quick as possible. So, I went ahead and I hopped in my fastest vehicle, being the Papa Prius. And so, I should get there at lightning speed. Except for this red light is screwing me over. What's going on, man? It's all this guy's fault that I'm late, Delinky. Blame that guy. So I'm here in my Papa Pry, and I'm heading over to his house. I guess I'm gonna be riding one of her bikes today. And yeah, this person over here is trying to race, so we're just gonna have to school him. See you later! All right, so I'm hopping on the Papa Toll Road now, which means I'm gonna have to spend 260 bucks to get to Delink's house. But I'll see you once I'm with Delinky. <laughs> Ugh. 
What's up? Alright. You can punch me back. Oh, internet. Welcome to another adventure. Today I'm with the club. Are you today, sir? You're not going to put me bush rolling in the video? Do it again. <laughs> no, just put it in there. Alright. So, today I'm with the Linky and some of our friends who are actually, you know, some good friends of mine that I grew up with. I went to elementary school with them and then they got a little bit older than me so I wasn't in the same grade as them after that but they're still really good friends and they basically started this huge lollipop factory and so they just kind of grow lollipops on a lollipop bush which is a bush that I really like to jump into and so that's how we ended up riding with them today. I jumped into their lollipop bush, we crossed paths back in 69 and yeah, we decided to set up this day that we're gonna go riding. So I'm on the Delinkinator 5000 and I got the bales right here because you know, I miss bales so much so I have another bales. Bobby, what's going on, buddy? What do we got going on in here? We got something in there today. Oh, what is this? We got a slideroo. What is that from? A broken slideroo. Let's see if you can get the warranty on that puppy. Is that all he's got? That's all he's got. You know what? You want me to do the pulling today? What do we got down there? What do we got down there, man? You need to be a little nicer to Bob. No, I don't. He just screws us over every week. I literally dislocated his head. You yeah, see that? that? Bob never has looked this way probably in his life, huh? Yeah, I'm going to poke the linky. We're going to poke him. <laughs> Stupid thing won't ever work the way it's supposed to. <laughs> she just smacked the dog with a flip flop. <laughs> do it, do it, just do it. All right, let's eat. Oh, forget it. I thought you were going to start taking bites along with the music. All right, let's pop out of here, Bales. What is. What, what does that smell? You, you guys smell that? What the? I know that smell. Hang on a second. I can't believe this. We gotta figure this out, man, because I really, like, I can't believe this. If my senses are, are correct. We really, we gotta figure this out, man. Like, we gotta, we, we gotta figure it out. And it's down here. It's down here. I know, I smell it. I know that smell from a mile away. This is crazy. There's probably gonna be a snake a root down here. <laughs> oh, I, I think it's in here. It is! It's the chickaroo! The Papa Chickaroo! Don't let gay! I found the chickaroo! Get it! Save it! Don't let it get run over! Quick! Ah! Oh you got it. Alright. Phew. Real talk, those those tall stalks right there, they're about to go extinct. So if I ever see you try to eat one again, those tall things, I'm going to have to smack your face off. Yeah, it's the chickaroo. I smelled it from like a mile away. It's crazy. All right. can't believe this crap, man. Let's turn the hazard back on. Save the Papa Chickaroo. Let's get out of here. <laughs> famous breakfast burrito I guess that means we're here they got a drive-thru at this place man we should just go through the drive-thru we can just eat on our tonsils you know because everybody has tonsils we just take them out of our mouths and eat off them hey Papa Pepe the link alright Bill stay here we'll be right back What did you end up getting? I got the puppy burrito. Which is the California burrito. Yeah, I gotta say, you know, uh, Chuck E. Cheese, you know, it's a little bit better than Chuck E. Cheese, but Taco Bell, it's a lot better. So I'll be going there in three seconds from now. You probably won't be back. No. If you like that video, hit that like button. If you haven't yet, subscribe. Subscribe to me on Patreon. That's what he's saying over there right now. That's what he's saying. 
See? Each and every Patreon, I love you so much. We got a jack in the rooster over there. How do I turn this bike on? I want to turn on. Oh, it turned on. Let's take it for a puppy ride. Ooh, it's the Delinky Mobile right here. Look at this, that's where Delinky lives. It must be little professor's house. I crashed your bike, sorry. What? Why is everyone staring at me? Do you want me to do that thing where I'm like, I'll see you guys later? Nico got it. <laughs> did he do it like without you telling him, or did you have to be like? Uh, I, I nudged it. I was like, and with that, I'll catch you guys later. <laughs> That's such a nice looking car, man. And that guy's got a beautiful beard too. He's like, he's like a little intimidated. It's a nice car. Yeah. He doesn't even care. He gets compliments like that all day. So he's just used to it. He's like, yeah, whatever, dude. I know. My car's nice. Leave me alone. All right. So I'm back home now. It has been a solido six hours since I've been gone. And I feel bad for the bales because she's been home. She's been home and she's been waiting this whole time for me to come back. Come on, garage door. This stupid garage door is not going to stay up. This garage door is having some issues. And I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Like I can turn on this light and it's a big old mess in here. But Delinky let me take his bike home because he felt bad for bales. I mean, six hours isn't really a whole lot because I know dogs can be good for eight because people work eight hour jobs and they commute and stuff. And I mean, I know she's fine, but I don't like to leave her for too long. Anyways, thanks to Delinky Bob for uh, helping out the bales. It's a very nice thing for him to do. All right, the bike's safe. Okay. Hello, Mrs. Bills. How are you doing today? We're gonna give you some yummies. Are you ready for those yummies? Are you just so excited? You can just not handle it, can you, Bills? Oh, the Bills can't even handle it. <laughs> the Bills. Oh, Bills, it hasn't even been that long. Oh, Bills, there you go. Oh, you spilled them on the floor, Bills. What was that all about? Now you gotta eat them off the floor. <laughs> You spilling them in your water. Oh, your bears are so silly. Don't tell me you see that tail wag? That is the tail wag of an excited bales. All right. So I left my camera in the pop of pride because I ended up taking Delinky's bike home. I think that's going to cut it for today. I'm just going to hang out with bales. I'm going to take her for a walk. And we're going to go pet her again because she's so cute. You're a good girl, Bills. <laughs> yeah, she starts wagging once she hears me. What are you going to do with this big old mess? You got a big old mess. What are you going to do? She's going to lick it up. One of Bales. That's a good girl. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate everyone that loves Bales so much because it seems like a lot of you guys do. You leave a lot of good comments. I get a lot of good messages about the Bales. Oh, yeah. She's a good girl. She's a very good girl. If you're ever going to get a dog, you should just adopt one. Like, Bales is the best dog ever. I love the Bales. And then Bales was adopted. Somebody dropped her off of that shelter. They didn't want her. Like, that's crazy. The Bales is crazy. Yeah, the Bales' last owner is crazy. Go get it. Oh, the bears is crazy. The bears is ready to go for a walk. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in 2,222, which is 600 years in the future. Bye. I love you. We're going to end it with a kiss with the Mrs. Bears. Ready? Mwah!